What's going on, everybody? Back here in the Dalish camp. He spoke to the keeper in his first or assistant, I guess you could say, next in line. And I uh, got some dialogue out of the way. There's actually a couple quests that we can do here in the camp itself. And kind of uh, set up some stuff for us to take care of in the forest, too. Where those horns bring huge prices and cure diseases, so they say. Codex is lying everywhere. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel, what humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. That is exactly what they are, in fact. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery. For her sake, as well as that of the others. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Well, I just happen to have these maxed out sexylicious survival skills here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. And? What do you think? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you attempted it, regardless. I don't think that option is even there unless you have at least a three survival skill. Yes. That's Something it. like that. She's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another hollow was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Masiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. No applause, just throw money. Um, is it just me, or does her voice sound just a little bit like Lydia in Skyrim? Not, not identical, I don't think, but uh, real similar. Anyway, I don't know if one of you guys knows, uh, let me know. Down there in the comments below, I was just kind of curious. I guess I could go look it up, actually. But, uh... I know a lot of voice actors and actresses kind of uh, go back and forth between you know different games and stuff. Like Miss uh, Ally Hillis and Jennifer Hale and so on and so forth. And boy, aren't they amazing. Seriously. I'm Darren Atitian, outsider. I am Gaina. Is there something you need from me? I am not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. You should speak to Lanaya. She's the Keeper's first and knows much of such questions. You would be best to speak to Sayrel. He is our storyteller and knows far more of such tales. Zathrian? He has been our keeper since long before my parents' parents were born. What could you wish to know about him? I don't know. Very old. It is said that Zathrian may be one of the first to become as our ancestors were long ago, immortal. We... we all live longer than the Flat Ears, the elves who live with humans. The Keepers even more so because of their knowledge of the old ways. Why Zathrian differs from the others, I do not know. Perhaps he has been blessed by the Creators.
He keeps us safe, and he keeps the knowledge of our people safe, so we may bring it to all of our people one day. From the other clans, and from the artifacts we uncover in our travels. Everywhere the old empire was, so went their slaves. Pieces of our past lie everywhere. The ways of our ancestors, of course, from the time of our Lathan, before the human empire enslaved our people. To the flat ears, those who live with the humans. When we have a new homeland to settle in, we shall teach all elves the ways they have forgotten. Yes. What is that? Master Verathorn should have what you need. Seek him out at the forge. Then may the creators bring you fortune. All right, she's friendly enough, but one thing I figured out, there is a pattern of her not knowing a damn thing, but she knows who does. What do you know? Nothing? Well, who does know it? Well, uh, such and such and such and such. She'd be a great Dalish camp tour guide if there was a job for that. Alright, um... Actually, we're going to speak to the camp storyteller also. There's actually a little insight that you can get from uh, talking to some of these folks here. Elven lore is kind of vague as it is. I'm sorry, but I must attend to so, uh, it's kind of good to get everything you can get, but I want to make sure I get all the quests active that we can kind of take care of as we wander around in the forest. And uh, the girl we just talked to, actually, it would have been best if we talked to this uh, this kid sitting not over here. Before. Not him, that but this this guy, kid. Kamen. I wish I could see Orzammar someday. Does it really have we'll a go, great uh, lake of lava? Yeah, there's Kamen. We'll talk to him, but uh, first I want to see what this guy is saying. I hear you had a hand in saving the Hala. Maserinas. I'm not sure what we would do without them. I... I appreciate you trying to find him, but what are the chances? Anaren the healer? You know Anaren? He... he lives? No, it can't be him. Perhaps it is a common elven name. No, I know of only one Anaren. Ah, it makes sense. Anaren said that he was from the human cities. You are old friends, then. If you seek an errand, you must venture into the forest. He prefers to be amidst the trees and the animals. Thank you all so much. I know a few tales. Our clan has passed this way many times before, even when the Shemlin lived in these parts. You wish? I can tell you what I know. It is not a long story. Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say, that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. Might be some truth to that. So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful. Much as Zathrian himself. The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here in slavery? Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. 
one knows. When the Shemlin lived in these parts, the curse would spread anew to a few of them with each passing year. They would run off into the forest, never to be seen again. Eventually, all the Shemlin left. One assumes the werewolves survive by passing their curse to their offspring. They have had no new blood. Until now. It is said that one or two have turned already, though the Keeper denies it. As for the rest, they will either die or turn, unless they are killed out of mercy. I would rather die than become a ravening, soulless beast, wouldn't you? One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Well, guess I'll try not to. <laughs> I hear you had a hand in saving the Hala, Maserinas. I'm not sure what we would do without them. We know only what Zathrian has told us over the years. I never saw one myself until the attack. Some of us have wondered. The Keeper says they are simply cunning, that any beast can lie in wait. But this seemed more than that. It was planned. These are no simple beasts. Then the real question is why the Keeper would insist that it is not so. I do not believe he would. But even the wisest of men do not always see the truth in front of them, nor do they always wish to. The hunters say they have strength and speed far beyond what's ordinary, and are as tough as such beasts come. Like wolves, they hunt in packs so as to combine their strength. But in the end, a blade kills them as surely as it does any other. What you need to fear is their bite. If you're infected, you are done. Though not right away, and not all at once. Some of us have wondered. The Keeper says they are simply cunning. That any beast can lie in wait. But this seemed more than that. It was planned. These are no simple beasts. Then the real question is why the Keeper would insist that it is not so. As you know, they can shapeshift into wolves, allowing them to hide amidst the true wolves. Other than not to get bitten, not that I know of. Some of us have wondered. It was planned. Then the real question is why the Keeper would insist that it is not so. Of course. You wish something else? Darth Shirol. All right, now for this guy. Uh, hello? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. <laughs> To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt, and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. I don't think there's anything I can tell you. My clanmates in the camp would be better at that. 
All right. Well, it's not like the world's not bad enough that a uh, little time set aside to uh, get a little loving in, you know, while you can. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, right? No harm done. <laughs> Greetings once again. You spoke to him? What did he say? <laughs> oh, I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? OMG! Cameron doesn't have a proper Twitter account. OMG, God wouldn't allow that, would he? <laughs> but what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Actually, either of these are good right here. Both solid points. Damn, take it while you can, girl. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Cameron miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Oh, she's ready to take the next step. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. Aww. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Okay, this is Here, getting a bit fluffy. Take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the dark spawn. It's the very least we could do. Well, as long as I can get at least 50 silver for it, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so y'all go find a room and, uh, yeah, good luck with that. Alright, now, uh, I think that sets everything in motion. If there's anyone else we need to talk to. I don't think so. That's pretty much it. Pigeon crown. <laughs> I didn't get all the amusing dialogue I thought I might get out of him there among the elves. You know, them being very squishy and everything. He, uh, yeah, oh well. It was, it was worth a look-see. Just to let him hang around and see if he had anything funny to say. He had one or two little things, but uh, kind of expect a little more out of him. Of course, probably beats having Morgan in the party, because right then, I think Morgan hates just about every nice thing you do for the elves. I, I think she does. She kind of despises them in general being weak or something. Anyway, I don't know. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, and we will head off into the forest on the next one. How's that sound? All right, if you want to subscribe, click that button over my head. For more Origins, click the top box. For all my videos, click the bottom box, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.